Hi there, in this video we're going to review my very own book uh, called Learn Dutch with 10 Short Stories. I wrote 10 short stories about foreigners coming to Belgium or the Netherlands and then encountering some things that are a little bit weird and that are a little bit, well, let's say typically Belgian or typically uh, Dutch. So let's take a look inside to see what it looks like. Uh, the first story is called Brieven van de Politie, uh, Letters from uh, the Police. Uh, so it will be about a foreigner receiving letters from the police and not knowing uh, what it is all about and why he's receiving these letters. And you will know uh, why he receives these letters uh, if you buy the book. Um, so after the title, there's the text. I can read it a little bit. So that's Nilan was een projectmanager die uit Zuid-Indië kwam. Hij was al een paar maanden aan het werk in een bedrijf dat telecommunicatiesystemen verkocht in West-Europa. As you start to read, you notice that some words are marked in bold. And the bold words that are those words that are a little more difficult than the others. It's typically words my students have difficulties with and uh, words that are a bit different from English. So uh, those that are hardest to study are marked in bold. And the other ones, for example, telecommunication system, telecommunication system. Well, I think you understand or understood that already. Right? When the word is marked in bold, then you look down on the page and then you see, oh, Verkocht, well, what does it mean? Verkopen, verkocht, verkocht, to sell. And then you know, ah, it has something to do with to sell. And verkopen is a verb. All verbs that are translated are both in uh, the perfectum and imperfectum. So the two past tenses and in the present tense. So you can study them along. The nouns, for example, het dorp. That's the first uh, noun you will learn in this book. Uh, it's, uh, it's always written with the article and the plural and the translation, of course. Right. So when you're reading, uh, you read the whole uh, story and there's usually five to ten translated words per page. And you read on and on and on. And when you're finished with the stories, there are some questions that need answering. For example, the first question would be Welke brieven kreeg Nilan? Uh, there are no translations there, so you have to pay attention while reading to be able to answer the question for which you will find the answer at the end of the book. So if I give it away, uh, go to the end of the book, page 183. Welke brieven kreeg Nilan? Nilan kreeg boetes van de politie. Uh, Nilan received fines from the police. And why exactly that is? Well, you'll need to buy the book to know uh, why Nilan receives letters from the police. All right. Uh, what is the level of this book? Well, it's at A to B1 level. So you need to know about, well, let's say, thousand words to be able to uh, understand uh, the, um, the texts without the words marked in bold. Uh, the level goes up, so if uh, first, if one of the words is translated in the first uh, story, then in the second story it won't be translated anymore. And there's over a thousand words and expressions translated in this book. If you've uh, already followed this challenge for quite a while, then you might know that I also published another book, uh, which is slightly uh, easier. It's for A2 level. Uh, there are no past tenses in there, but in my new book, which is um, bigger, it's two, about 200 pages, uh, there you will find uh, past tenses in the stories. 
good uh, you can buy this book through the links in the description below there's an ebook version and this as you can see a written uh, book and if i can give you a last tip uh, feel free to underline all the words that are a little difficult so you remember um, i might need to write those down and study them later on so have fun with my book and uh, if you have any comment about it feel free to write it in the comments